my enameling workshop. I'm going to be doing um, a lovely purple and white whippet. This is, these are the pieces cut out. But before I start doing that, I'm going to show you um, how I do some test pieces. Because this purple, these are just off cuts, these are just scraps, copper. Um, I'm going to be doing it white and purple, but purple's not that easy a color, actually, strangely, in enamel. Or at least I'm very fussy about purple because it's my favorite color. So I'm going to do a few test pieces to make sure I get a really nice purple. Um, and I'm going to blend it out with some sort of magentas and that kind of thing and some blues just to get something really, really nice. So I'm going to show you that and we'll get started. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's my um, whippet, curled up whippet, cut out, and <clears throat> I'll put it together so you can see, and uh, that's um, a foot. Okay, so there we are. So there's our whippet. Okay, these are the ears, and I'm going to do, I think, just one layer of white on the ears because they're going to be very dark. I want the ears to be very different to the body. Okay, this is the collar of the dog. And I'm gonna do it a combination of apricot and marigold and maybe a bit of pale yellow. I want it to um, look really nice with the purple and white and I think this plus purple will be fabulous together. So, and then I'm going to put some, uh, another type of yellow on top of this. Okay, now I'm going to put some marigold on this. And I'm using a much bigger sifter because it's so little. I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. Now you'll notice I put some scratches on this. Sorry, let me hold it better. Um, I decided to take some of the black off the edges here so that it would go, go more black and I scratched this down a bit um, to try and reveal some more of the apricot because that kind of got covered up a bit so I might just redo that. Um, most dog, well my dogs anyway, their collars are not anything to write home about. They're pretty scratched, wrecked, rusty. <laughs> um, so a lot of dogs collars are not pristine and I don't want this one to be too pristine either. So let's get on with it, do a little bit more. And I'm gonna put a bit more apricot on this time. Just a little bit. Kind of a splash more than anything else. I think that's good. And then I'm gonna put on some pale yellow as well. But I need to get a new piece of paper. So let me get rid of that. The reason I'm changing the paper is because I don't want to mix the colors up. And I'll get a new sifter. And I'm not going to put much here. Just a little bit. And we'll see how that looks. I've also decided to put some of these little wafers on. Not too many, I'm just showing you. These are millefiori, very, very tiny little millefiori. So I want to put a couple of those on. I have red and I have sort of a yellow group. And these can look really, really nice. So I just want to strategically put them just so that they Enhance the collar a little bit. Uh, I think that's okay. I'll just give those a try. Let me try and zoom in a bit. So you can see those. So here is our whippet thus far. The white is done, the nose is done, the collar is done. I did a little pink inside ear. That's the collar. So now what I have to do is the ears and then I have to do the markings in purple. So I'm going to do some uh, tests 
and then we'll see how they turn out. Here we have our ears, that's the lavender. And I'm, I've actually decided I'm going to use this dark violet, transparent dark violet too, because I want the ears to be darker than um, in the other areas of the dog. Now, here we go. After the dark violet has been put on, we can see the effect. It's really nice. I really, really like that color. I'm going to put a little bit of cherry on. Not a huge amount, because I don't want these ears to be very red. I want them to be quite blue bluish purple. Here's our whippet so far. This is roughly what my stencil is going to be, where the where it's purple and blue, that's where the purple will go. So more will be revealed, it'll, it'll be <laughs> um, clearer shortly. Here's my first stencil. The reason I have cut out where you can see the nose and the bottom of the sort of lip there is because I need to line it up properly so it's easier if I can see the dog's nose and ears. And what I want is for its eyes to have the purple. I'm not going to worry about this area here, that doesn't matter. Let's see what I'm talking about. So anyway, I need to line this up as I want it and then we'll have perfect perfect whippet. Here is our dog's face. I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm going to get on with doing the rest of the lavender. And um, here's our stencil. The rest of this dog. Okay, that's all right. You can salvage a bit of that up here. I'm actually gonna get rid of that entire thing. Here we are. I whip it with just the lavender. I'm pretty happy with that. I faded some of it out, as you can see, and um, just to get a bit of, you know, depth to the dog. And I'll carry on now. I've come along a little bit since I was here last um, and I have done the, the, the red, the cherry and this is the steel and I've actually put some little bits of um, cracked enamel. I'll, I'll do a video on how to make that just to give it a little bit of texture and now I'm going to fire this and get on with the rest of it. So whip it finished and now I'm just putting all the pieces together. I'm really happy with the way it came out. <sighs> Let me just try and put it into the sun. Oh, there's another Whippet. Winnie! <laughs> That's my little black Whippet. Winnie the Pooh! So there we are. I'm happy with that. 
Now I just have to finish, and here's my sheepdog. Oh, and there's my terrier. Um, so I'm really happy with that purple. It was worth doing all the experimentation. 